Your Honor, we believe that the recommendations are, are, are quite adequate. We'd ask they be adopted. All right, ma'am. Um, let me just clarify. Do we have a Ms. Simmons or Ms. Romanowski present? We do not. Okay. All right, Ms. Mitchell, this court's been waiting for you for quite a while on your matter. And um, the court will note that um, that the recommendation is appropriate. Ms. Mitchell is not a candidate for probation. And there hasn't been any restitution requested as of yet. Um, we need to have Ms. Mitchell fingerprinted. <clears throat> I don't know exactly how that's going to happen since she's currently in the Wayne County Jail. Um, and the court, the court will indicate 93 days jail. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm not 93 days jail. This is operating while intoxicated second offense. The court. How long have you been in custody, ma'am? Um, uh, August 1st. Okay. Your Honor, ma'am, she was booked into the Wayne County Jail on September 8th. But I was here on his first too. No. Yeah, for that one. This you left the building, though. Oh, September well. Okay, September 8th. Okay, thank you. But I've seen okay. you before that. Well, that was on another matter. That was on the matter that you extended from the 23rd District Court. Correct? Yeah, but I've dealt with, I was arranged um, with you too as well. Said August 1st as my attorney. Well, in the in August, August 4th, I dealt with you. August 4th, you were arranged. Yes. And, okay, but you were, were you in custody or out of custody when you were arranged? Um, in custody. In custody, correct. Yes. And so you were, you were arrested on a warrant, correct? To come back? I'm confused to which okay. part you're asking. How did you end up getting around? How were you in Wine Dot custody? Or Wayne County Jail custody? Right now? No. I turned my, I wanted to do the time. Oh, okay. I don't know what this August 3rd. August 3rd, you were in the Wayne County Jail. Yes, I want a warrant. On your, on your warrant, correct. Yes. That's because you were sentenced to jail after absconding from the 23rd District Court, correct? Um, nope, I was here for Lincoln Park. Okay, the 25th District Court then? Yes. Okay. So my point is, you were not necessarily in custody on this court's bond. You were there for sentencing on other matters. Yes, and then I went home on your bond, and then I came back. And how did you end up back in custody? Because I'm doing the I'm doing the um my sentence. I wanted I rather do the jail. I wanted to do the jail time. I didn't get in any more okay. trouble or anything. On one of your other matters, correct? Yes, on my Taylor matter. Yes, that's yes. Yeah. This is for okay. yes. Okay. All right. Here's what the court's going to do. The court's going to indicate on this matter 180 days jail credit for 80 days. No, 180 days, not 80 days, 180 days. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know you Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, okay. He's cooking, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I How am I not a candidate for probation when I haven't even dealt with probate anything in one day? Um, excuse me, ma'am. 
First of all, I'm not really sure who else is talking there with you uh, about cooking, but um, also, it's not, this is not funny. This is an offering while taxing and second offense. You had an accident, you hit two other cars. You failed to appear in this court. You also were participating in a treatment court that you absconded from. Therefore, given your criminal history, and if you'd like, I can be uh, more specific, your uh, matter out of Lincoln Park from 2017, your malicious structure of property. That was totally dismissed. In 2000, don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Okay, we can totally bring up. Out of 2017. Do not interrupt me, please. The recording can record one at a time. Disorderly drunk out of Taylor 2017. Operating while impaired out of Taylor 2018. Driving on license suspended, three of those. Lincoln Park, Trenton, and Lincoln Park. 18, 19, and 23. Are, excuse me. Are you paying attention to me or no? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And that is why this court is indicating on your operating while tax stated second offense, 180 days jail. Credit for 63 days. You're to serve the balance. And I will waive the fines and costs. Thank you. Can I go now? Yes, off the record. Thank you. Have a good day. Hope it turns better off. Marissa Ians. Thank you. Go ahead. I didn't know if the probation was going to. Uh, Rita White on behalf of M Marissa Eames. My P number is P63046. And I do agree to participate via Zoom. Thank you. All right. We're here for a review today. It looks like Ms. Eans has a uh, excellent report. She has completed all of her 106 hours of community service. That is correct, Your Honor. Anything else you want to say on behalf of your client before I uh, complete the review? Yes, Your Honor. On behalf of Ms. Eans, yes, there were some concerns um, leading up to um, this date. But however, Ms. Eans has been, she's been very proactive in maintaining herself, her job, maintaining care of her children, maintaining care of the, um, maintaining her um, compliance with the probationary conditions. Um, I understand that Ms. Ian was placed on um, this period of um, sentence all the way back in December of sec 22nd of 2022 to a period of two years probation. Um, I under or two years of uh, probation and monitoring of the court. Your Honor, based on the fact that she has been testing negative for all substances, complying with her um, court ordered conditions that re um, remain. I, I am just requesting, I know it's probably a little too premature right now, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, the court would consider um, closing out her probation either today or when we come back, if everything is continuously uh, maintained on a good and positive level for Ms. Ian's, um, to consider closing out her probation. Because my I have also been retained to work with Ms. Ian's and represent her on restoring her driver's license. And until this case is resolved and closed out, that cannot happen. So given the fact that she's doing everything in a positive manner, I'm asking that the court consider um, and hopefully in a strong um, manner closing out this matter by the next review hearing date, or hopefully now. Ms. McDuffie. I'll leave that to the court, Your Honor. Thank you. Ms. Anz, anything you want to say? Um, well, good morning, Your Honor. Uh, same thing like Ms. White said, I've been doing really well. Um, the driving is definitely a burden for myself and my family, um, a lot of stress there. So like she said, I just wanted to pursue moving forward with getting my license back so I can alleviate some of that. Thank you. One of my concerns with this case has always been the fact that I was concerned that Ms. Ian's has a full understanding of the magnitude of the problem in this case. The request to have an early discharge is another one that leads me to have those continued concerns. Ms. Ann's is here today because she was given a second opportunity from having two driving while license suspended while she was already on probation. So the only thing she's really completed at this point is the 160 hours that was in lieu of her doing that jail time for that particular new, those two charges. So while she was on probation, she got new offenses. 
She started this case with the recommendation of jail time. The fact that she's not in jail should be considered a fortunate event for her. And the fact that she still doesn't get that, it's very concerning. I have not forgotten how we started this, Miss Anns, and I will continue to watch you. What you did to get yourself here is nothing short of, well, I just want to say the word that I'm thinking of. So feel fortunate that you're still not going to jail, okay? You will remain on probation. You will continue to do what you need to do to show this court and the community that you are very, very serious about this opportunity that you've been given. Because the recommendation, I think, if I recall right, was for almost one year in the Washington County Jail. So please keep that in mind for the future, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll do a review in 90 days. Thank you. January 4th, 2024. I think you got yourself in trouble over the holidays the last time. Don't do that again this time. Okay? I think that's when those driving while license suspendants occurred. Am I correct? Um, no, that was in January um, afterwards. Right after the holidays? Yeah. Okay. January 4th, 2024. At nine o'clock a.m. A.m. Thank you. I'll Thank see you, you then. Thank you. The court will call the case of the state of Michigan versus Anthony Brown, 23 FB 1157 and 22 W006093. Rachel McDuffie, people. Arnold Weiner appearing on behalf of Anthony Brown with no objection by Zoom. Mr. Brown, state your full name, sir. Anthony Br Dwayne Brown. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're here today for a Review. Although the although the notice says a pre-hearing conference, Judge, I know we've taken care of all of his cases. I think this is a set for a review. My understanding, uh, Mr. Brown has done everything required. That, that, that's Did what you get the actual me. report from the probation department, sir? Mr. Weiner. Yes, ma'am. You get the report from the probation department. No, I never did. Right. Ms. McDuffie, do you have his contact information? I do. I can forward it. All right. I'm going to forward that to you so you can go with your client. I'm at work, sorry. And so in this particular case, I sentenced Mr. Hicks to some very simple things. Pay his fines and costs, complete the crossroads critical thinking course, get his GAGD or diploma, 10 hours of community service. And he was not on probation. He didn't have to pay any of the probation oversight, any of that. We had the same discussion, I believe, when he came on the 17th. And at that time, I told him to do these things. He has not provided verification that he completed any of them. He has a new pending drive while license uh, fended, uh, life, license suspended case uh, from July 22nd out of the same court. Mr. Ballinger. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, we had 124 yesterday, so. Lord. 
Thank you, Your Honor. Um, <laughs> I just, I'm, I just wanted to. I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you. Now that's Mr. Weiner. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Um, Your Honor, I, I, I'm under that. Uh, Mr. Weiner, same... please, hold on a second. Mr. Weiner, please remain muted, sir. Um, Your Honor, I'm under that same impression that. Um, and it, it's my understanding that um, we have, you know, we, we've referred them to our AIM division to assist them in getting enrolled in the GED program, as well as the Crossroads program. Um, I understand what the recommendation here is. Um, I also need to see about getting a phone number for them because I, I can't be in communication with them because his phone's not in service. So that's not helping us either. Um, I can talk to him this morning. I wasn't able to. The phone's not in service. So um I need to talk to him this morning as well. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you're on. If I could just get a phone number or a breakout room real quick so I can get some communication going, I think that we might be able to resolve this. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? Someone did speak with him from my office, I'm saying. Okay. All right. So um so with regard to to the recommendations, I understand what they are. I'm just um asking for you know the the review and in 45 so that I may talk to him and see what we can get rolling here because I understand the court's frustration um, and what he needs to accomplish. And I want him to accomplish that as well um, because I think that's gonna be very, very beneficial to him. Ms. McDuffie? Well, um, I can't, I'm having a difficult time, I think, understanding these, as the court mentioned, these requirements are really pretty straightforward. And um, I don't know what, if any, communication there has just been with Agent Johnson about the status of these things. I know she hadn't gotten verification that the conditions have been completed, but it, it, I'm not even sure that he's been in touch with probation. And if that's the case, I don't have an issue with um, coming back in 45 days, but I do think that reporting probation is appropriate at this point. If he's able to complete those things, um, relatively efficiently um, by the next review. Maybe the it doesn't need to be the full six months, but I I I just can't figure out why nothing would have been done at all, um, especially with no communication. If that's true, and to have a new offense, um, however you know small that might be. So I think the I think reporting probation is probably um, still a good option for today's hearing. But I'll leave that to the court. Thank you. Is there something you would like to say today, Mr. Hicks? Before I'm I sorry. Sentence? Is there something you would like to say today before I sentence you, sir? Um, yes. For one, I have been communicating with the probation office. I mean, um, probation office. And I told them what I was going through and the reason of me not completing the the assignments that was assigned to me. For one, I was in. Go ahead. For one, I was in surgery. I just got my appendix removed. When, sir? Um, last month. No, it was it was August. I right after I had that court hearing with you in July, I had went into surgery. Sir, we had the court hearing in August, August 17th. Mm -hmm. And I went into surgery August 28th. Have you been in touch with probation to explain that to them or anything? Um, I, I've been trying to, but I had called, I called the, someone had texted me from the social worker's um, office and I was telling her what was going on and I'm just now finding out that she didn't have, she don't have anything to do with the probation Then She was just helping me get into, get enrolled in GED and my community service programs. I didn't know that she wasn't connected with the probation people. That's what I was just told from my attorney. Yeah, I 
the schedule to get last minute. Your Honor, <laughs> I don't. It's it sounds like there's a lot of communication issues here. I think that I might be able to help with moving forward. Um, we would be asking that the court not place him on uh, reporting probation. I'm asking for an opportunity myself so that we can um, and, and we can schedule the re review hearing for 30, for 30 days from now to see if he has come into compliance. I'm hopeful. Um, I, I really am. I think that um, with good communication, I can clear a lot of this up. Only thing I'm going to do today is give him one week to provide you with some proof that he had a, 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 a penicitis, I think is what he said. Okay. And a Up third, to, yeah. um, with, with respect to that. And that um, I would see could affect his ability of moving forward for the past uh, time period after our last review. I will consider that in determining whether or not I'm going to put him on probation. So I will uh, bring you back here in one week if you do that documentation. I will consider it at that time. In the meantime, he should probably get himself enrolled in some of these programs, provide that proof to the probation department. That is the only thing I'm willing to do at this. Time. See you back here on October 12, 2023 at uh, 10 o'clock, 8 p.m. Um, with any proofs that you have. If you do not have proofs at that time, he will be going on probation um, uh, for the six months as is record. Understood, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's not a victim impact statement. All right, Mr. Brown, you may proceed. Is there something you would like to say at this time? Yes. So um, I have had a chance to reflect about my uh, about exactly what happened. And I do apologize to um, the court and the other parties that was involved. And I have had a chance to reflect about what's what happened and when I did write that report, I wasn't really currently understanding exactly what the question was asking. Cause I did, I did call the, the court a couple of times as far as, Hey, what do you think this question right here? What did this question right here mean? And I didn't too many get, I didn't get too many uh, return phone calls back. So when I did write that report, I would, I was not understanding exactly what was being asked. One, one more thing, but my, my attorney did, he did enlighten me exactly what was meant. And I do apologize for the way that exactly what I text and what I emailed you guys, because that wasn't um, what I was actually meaning to say. That's it. Mr. Brown. Uh, you know, I don't know if you think that I'm stupid, that the the, the victim is stupid, the, the probation is stupid. I'm not sure because you committed this offense. You committed it in front of more than one person. You write a statement denying that it's even her, uh, indicating that it's someone completely different. You... Then, and it was a different day, then you come into court and say you didn't mean to write what you wrote. I, I don't, I don't, you know, I've been doing this for two and a half years. I'm not sure I've seen anyone write a longer statement about what happened. So you clearly understood the question. If you took responsibility for being in denial and trying to escape what you did that day, I would have appreciated that a little more. But instead, what you said was, is you didn't mean to write this. You clearly meant to write, write every single word you wrote here and clearly understood the question because you answered the question. What you think your sentence should be, honestly, is nothing because you were wrongly accused by a woman you were involved with. You fully understood the question. No, ma'am. I'm sorry. I said no, ma'am. When when so the panel when it gives you, I don't type fast enough to um put it into the. So what I did was I I ended up typing in on something different and just copying and pasting it. 
the same thing exactly what I exactly the way I typed it because every time I start typing exactly what I want to say it kicked me out and I have to go back to the email and start back over all right so anything else you want to say before I sentence you No, ma'am. Hmm. I'm going to follow the sentence for the most part. It is the sentence of this court that you served 365 days in the Washtenaw Jail. Credit for two days served. I actually think you need to do 45 days in the Washtenaw County Jail to be served immediately. The balance of those days are suspended. 18 months on probation. Fines and court costs in this case for a total of 700 and I'm sorry, yes, $725. Meet with probation when and where directed, including any and all home visits, weekly phone reports, and probation group meetings. Attend and complete a gun safety program. Attend and complete an anger man management program. You're restricted from having any alcoholic beverages in the home. You to submit to pay and be responsible for random drug and alcohol tests as requested by the court. Provide monthly verification of compliance and completion to the probation department. Attend your court reviews. Make earnest efforts to maintain legitimate employment and other, and uh, continue on the GPS tether um, when you are released from the Washtenaw County Jail. You are restrained from harassing, stalking, threatening, or engaging in any other conduct that would place Heather Sims or Marianne Carey in reasonable fear of bodily injury. No assaultive or threatening behavior towards them or anyone else. No contact with either one of them. No going to the residence of either one of them or place of employment. No use or possession of alcohol, marijuana, illegal drugs, or drug paraphernalia. And no being in the presence of anyone pre possessing or using those. No use or possession of any firearm, firearm components, ammunition, or other dangerous weapons. And no being in the presence of anyone carrying those. Any weapons that you have need to be turned over to the uh, to the uh, um, sheriff's department. Can I speak to my attorney? Um, Mr. Lebo, when can your client turn himself in? Yeah, we did it. Listening to other people, Mr. Brown, it's probably not going to benefit you well. I'm sorry, one more time now. You heard what I said. Your Honor, I to discuss with Mr. Brown. He's indicated he's able to turn himself in on the 12th. That is not one of the options I gave you. I apologize, Your Honor. I believe it was within the next five days. You understand that the day is the 5th? I apologize, Your Honor. Mr. Brown, can you turn yourself in on Tuesday? Yes, sir. Defendants to turn himself on October 10th, 2023 by 8 a.m. I'll do a review in this particular case. On November 30th, 2023 at 10 o'clock a.m. Mr. Lebo, your client wants to speak with you again. I'll put him in that breakout room. If he does not show up before that time, a bench warrant will issue, and I will send the officers to pick him up. Your Honor. Mr. Brown, did you understand that? Hello. Mm -hmm. All right. I can hear him. I heard him at first, but. Mr. Brown, you're going to turn yourself in. By 8 a.m. on October on um, October the 10th. If you don't, then a bench warrant will issue for your arrest. All right. You'll be going into your breakout room with, with your attorney at this time. Mm -hmm.